All right, guys, I did buy the administrator home screen. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just pretty much needed premium currency, and that was the best bet. But I'm not going to go buy any more. That's because I've been collecting the home screen regardless for ever since it was released. And I was like, might as well get it because uh, I was going to get it sooner or later anyways. Now, I was able to get Ronnie from the new thing on step one which i was happy about because it was going up and then i thought nothing was going to happen and suddenly the operator flew out and basically ronnie showed up now this is apparently the better character in my opinion due to her attack but you're gonna need both characters if you want to uh go to x zero double zero now this is the ronnie that is similar to Alice. So I would take Ronnie to level 120 opposed to Tise if I was able to get her. But this is like the Alice, right? This is like her. It's almost like she's they swapped out the character and basically put in Ronnie. Not exactly, right? But, you know, this one's mermaid mode. The other one is whatever. And there's a much stronger attack with... This Alice is compared to Edis, right? But Edis was more universal. And Tise is also more universal because she is the recollection field, right? Character. And in the freaking game, what happened is that what they did was if you want to go to beat X4 and then go to X00, you're pretty much going to need two recollection field character. One isn't going to cut it. But this is the stronger character, right? Being a recollection field character and all, um, you know, it, you're going to need it. But the thing is with Edis is that Edis, for the green element, she was a yell break character, right? But this one, the the T say on this character is pretty much a recollection field. I mean, it, do it doesn't have anything else, right? It's a double A. It's a CAA character. So it's not going to yell break. Unfortunately, if she did, then she would be the better universal character. But that being said, you know, her charge is low, too. So that kind of sucks. But Ronnie, right, if you're doing comparison, Ronnie has increased magic attack by 7% up to 30%. And then her incarnate actually increases a lot of damage right damage increased by 15 percent when your magic buff is 15 percent or more and then additional 15 percent when your buff is 30 percent or more so you have increase of 30 percent on top of 30 percent supposedly i think that's how it works now like i was saying if you don't have the recollection field what happens is you're not going to make it out alive as well. So, I don't know. You're going to need both characters. But if you only have enough moon crystals for one 120, I would definitely recommend Ronnie. Just because she's probably going to be more powerful. Right? Thus more universal uh, compared to Tisei. If you have Tisei. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get Tisei. I'm, and certainly, I don't want to put in the money to buy it. Right, but I just think that Ronnie would be better, and of course, I know that Leafa is there. I should have taken Leafa up there, but I took uh Sinon, which I don't regret because Sinon is the recollection field, and it looks like if you don't have max recollection, you're gonna have problems too. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm just sitting here, I'm like, uh, whatever, I'm gonna stop. No, let's go all the way to 120. I don't want to go halfway and then stop. So we're going all the way to 120. There you go. But, you know, being the new character is the reason why I'm taking her up there and being powerful as well. But if it wasn't this event, if they didn't put out this new event, I would have just probably taken Leafa up there because Leafa is... It combines well with my other characters, right? But now being... I guess now I have a magic character that can whatever. But Leafa is also very powerful. She has a super slash attack. And it does a lot of freaking damage. Right? 
I mean, she does like almost four million. But being on this event makes her weak, which kind of sucks. So you you have to focus what you're gonna choose, right, for this event. And of course, um, I put in like a weird sword, but whatever. Of course, Ronnie is a magic character, and this is my first magic character get that can uh, pretty much attack. All my other magic characters, like Asuna, does an active link and other things. But like I was saying, I, I would have taken Leaf up there if it wasn't for this event. And this this is very funny because her magic incarnate attack doesn't even tell you if it's strong, very strong, or super strong. Which is bullshit because at least, you know, the uh, look at this. Here's, uh, oh, surprisingly. So this one says it's super strong. Thrust to all. You know, some of these attacks used to tell you if it's strong or whatnot. Incarnate magic attack. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's bad. You know, maybe Leaf is the strongest one here. I don't know. I, I should have taken Leaf up there. But because during this event, you actually have bonus, right? I mean, you, you have bonus for having her on the team, right? You get 100 and... I mean, you, you get the... Uh, what do you call it? You get the incarnate up. I took her up there. And I don't have Tisei, but even if I had Tisei, I, I would take her opposed to Tisei. Because Tisei doesn't seem like she's that important. So, going to X, you're going to need two recollection field up there. If you want to keep your recollection field. Because what happens is they're going to knock your recollection field down. Which is bullshit again. But what can you do? And Ronnie, when maxed out, she's 338. So that's pretty fast. I don't really care about the other attacks. They're there and it's subjective. But the speed is actually very important. All right, so I have four recollection field. I mean, four uh, 120 character here. And once you go in, you start off with uh, re, uh, Incarnate. Because her, her uh, what do you call this? Her leadership starts you off with 25 Incarnate. Maximum Incarnate value to 125%. But anyways, that's all. Tisei versus Ronnie for this event. I would probably take Ronnie up there. But I don't know if Ronnie will become useful in the end afterwards, right? Because she's not universal, but I guess her damage is. But the thing is, if it's a if they produce physical immune bosses, fuck, man, I just gave them that idea. You know, that's a bad idea. But anyways, if they start doing those, right? Um, my Ronnie is pretty much useless, right? I mean, if they start doing that, your your Ronnie is useless. So that would mean that Tise would be more better in a universal situation. But even given her recollection field, you know, CAA isn't that great. Like, I, I still don't like CAA. And this is all magic attack, too. So if it was, like, immune to physical kind of thing, um, she her incarnate wouldn't do much damage anyways, even though it does plus three to recollection field. So, and anyways, in the end, I think Ronnie is better. T says slightly more universal and more beneficial if you need your recollection field up. But if you want more damage, stick with Ronnie. And she is an enhanced mode character. And mo um, most enhanced mode characters, uh, you know, the, the uh, what do you call it? The enhanced mode character is stronger than CAA. And most of the CAA characters I don't even use. I mean, I might use CAB, but I won't see use CAA. I mean, most of the CAA is useless.